wife bought some chickens again, so she wanted to coop for them. So I looked on the University of YouTube, came up with some different ideas, and this is the results. I hope you enjoy it. So this is my new chicken coop. I really do like it. The girls are going to love it. Ross is supposed to be out here working. We're trying to get it all finished. Got a little bit more painting. Here's the inside. There you are. I thought you were working. I got a lot of work for you to do. Dang, I am working. Mm. All right, so my wife has bought some chickens. So I'm gonna try to make a chicken coop in this area. Now I've got a lot of the material out. Now it's a matter of getting the structure going. I'm demoing this piece of junk that I've got up here. All right, got my area cleaned out. Ready for the new chicken coop.
Um, I'm not a carpenter or a plumber or electrician or any of that stuff, but I do well over 90% of my own work around the house and little DIY projects. And several years ago, my wife um, asked me what I wanted for Father's Day, so I told her some cordless tools, and she went out and got me a whole set. And there was a 20 volt Black and Decker cordless drill. And saw. And the only thing I did to the saw was I got a uh, Diablo blade. The one that came with it was no good. But this one works really good. It's really sharp. And then it also came with reciprocating saw. So, very handy items. They're very tough. I used them a lot. As you can see, got some nicks and dings and stuff on it. I'll, uh, I'll leave a link to Amazon uh, in case you're interested in it. But I, I use them a lot. And I, what I love about it though is all in, it came with a couple of extra batteries, one charger. I don't even came with a flashlight. I don't have that with me, but it's a really handy flashlight. Still uses this same 20 volt. There's some lot bigger, nicer ones out there, but for my purposes, I use them all the time. Have been for three years now. And um, I, I really like them, so they work really good for me. Set on it, and this is what we came up with. All right, so it's in our garden, and just one of the first feature. It's got this door, chicken wire here. And you can open it up, let some air inside of this. And open it up. And this is where the chickens can go in at night. Have a roost. They're young, they're not laying any eggs yet. My wife wanted a uh, nesting box that's movable. There's six chickens. We had chickens before, and those six chickens always fought for one nest. So here's three, and they'll probably end up doing the same thing, fighting for one nest. But she can take it out, get the eggs out of it, put fresh straw in it. Because it has a linoleum floor. So we put down the um, pine straw, not pine straw, pine sha shavings. And when it gets, you know, needs to be changed, just, just put our, you know, uh, floor broom in there and just sweep it all out into, and this thing is a, uh, I don't know, three, four foot off the ground. And then just sweep it straight into our, you know, wheelbarrow, cart, whatever we, whatever she wants to. And also, I ran a little drop cord in here so we can run um, heat lamp if it gets cold enough. I'm also going to put in a um, timer door, so it'll open up in the mornings, close up at night. There's the door over there. And then at the opposite end, you can see down there, there's another uh, window that we can open up and get some cross ventilation in here. So this is my uh, rain catchment bucket, and it's got a spigot that I put on there. So that you can open it up, get your water that you catch coming in from your gutter up here. Wash your hands, water the flowers, whatever. This is a pallet, and I put some legs on it, and it made a nice little garden table. And the sink came out of my camper, and I've got a uh, video about my camper DIY rest 
you know, restoring that, making it a pop up into a little tiny camper. So I'll leave a link for that video. All right, so we needed some light down here. I have some power down here, but also just wanted to, I love LED and um, solar power. So this is a, just a floodlight, solar powered floodlight. Come on, I think it's dark. My wife painted this nice red color. Open it up and come in. So here's their door. Here's their run. They'll come down. A little landing. Uh, take a 90 degree turn, then it'll be on the ground. They probably won't use that much. They'll probably just jump off, but they're chickens. And then when they get a little older, this will be the area where they can take a dirt bath. They, our old chickens, they love doing that. And underneath here, underneath the chicken coop itself, it's about eight by eight. And then we got the chicken wire all around it. And then we got this baseboard. And then we ran the chicken wire beyond it and then put down all these bricks to keep out any of the weasels or anything else that might try to come in here. All right, and then she's got her... Um, rope up here for her water which is actually full all right so we'll have a trash can for her pond shavings go in there and we already have the one trash can for their feet so we'll have two of these galvanized trash cans keep the varmints out of those um, back up so you can see the whole thing. All right. Well, I appreciate y'all watching. Um, you can like and subscribe and share. That'd be great. All right. See you next time.